I think diner. that song even got away from the playwright a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And during the live performance, he came out and said, I'm sorry, but we had to fill 90 minutes, and that's all I had. Yeah. Musical Monday. Musical Monday. I'll be back with your coffee real quick. Just make sure you leave a tip. Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Zach and Shay at Improv Broadway. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're at Improv Broadway. And join us with the person that I always tip at least 20%, Caleb on the Keys. If this is your first time tuning into Musical Monday, this is the show where we sing our favorite songs to the musicals that no one's ever heard about. And this musical is all about the unsung heroes of the service industry. We're talking about waiters, waitresses, and busboys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this musical starts off in a classic little podunk diner this way north of Alabama. They haven't cleaned that coffee pot in two years. It is filled with grime, love, and asbestos. Yeah, well, they can't. It's open 24 hours. They just have the one <laughs> pot. They can't afford another coffee they machine. It just goes them. and goes and goes. They don't take any breaks. No one takes any breaks. That's what's crazy about this diner. And it's called... <laughs> Dash and Diner, Dash which and is diner. crazy because they're like, don't do what the title says. <laughs> <laughs> they, this was before Dine and Dash was invented, and they're yeah. like, oh, no, what have we done? My Dash and Diner. The Dash they're and like, diner. oh, no, that, that man's running away with his fried chicken. What do we call that? And he's like... A dash and diner. Yeah, because they wanted it to be the opposite. They wanted you to dash in there, then dine, not dine, yeah. then dash. Right. It's yeah. a sad misunderstanding. Yeah, but they can't afford a new sign, so dash and diner it is. Gosh darn it, damn it. But we see inside this opening scene um, of, of this classic diner scene, and we see someone inside has bigger dreams. That's right. Sh- this waitress, Donnie. Donnie. Oh, wait, no. Patty. Patty. Like yes, that's what it was. Patty. A burger patty. Like a burger. <laughs> and she always makes that. She you, says, hello, hello, can I take your order? I'm Patty like the burger patty. I'm Patty like the burger. How do you want it? Rare. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. No cheese. That's fine. I'm not cheesy at all. Hold the buns. Only if you pay me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's, she's a character. She's so cute. She's a she's cutie so, character. But she's been a waitress for a very, very long time. And she doesn't want to just waitress anymore. She wants to own the dang, dang, ding, dang thing. The dang diner place. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and so in this opening song, she's talking about all the changes that she would make to the diner. Hey, is there is there a waffle in the corner that's been there for three weeks? That's gone. Hey, what's sort of like, um, what's sort of the rapport with, uh, how, how can we push the tables together for a party of 16? Not on my watch. Uh-uh. Little changes like that. That's right. Are you going to do this one? Who knows? It depends if you're excited about it. No! <laughs> let's, let's listen to a... We skip over this song okay. real quick to talk about a relationship. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now we can talk about Donnie. Yes. Yeah. And Donnie, this is, um, you know, she's got such a strong relationship with all of her regulars. Regulars. And so in this song, it's just a fun little hustle and bustle inside the diner of just all the little interchanges between a few customers. Yes. Maybe two. Maybe, Maybe just one. Maybe. Maybe five. There could be ten different customers, but only one Donnie. Only one? Well, Don, one Donnie and one Patty. And Patty's in the back <laughs> scheming, trying to steal the star <laughs> from everyone. <laughs> We okay. glossed over Patty's song because she's yeah. not about relationships. Right. She's about scheming <laughs> to take over the Dash and Diner. Donnie, That's though, right. she loves her job and she loves <laughs> yeah. serving these customers. Yeah. And she, her thing, she says, hello, can I take your order? I'm Donnie, not the Osmond. Yeah. Well, not everyone's like, Donnie, you should manage. She's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I yeah. just love the customers. I love being a waitress. And, and I'll do it from dusk to Donnie. And the other thing she'll say is, hello, uh, can I take your order? I'm Donnie, not the party. <laughs> <laughs> 
Donnie, not the Trump. Because she thinks it's called the Donnie party. Yeah. Oh. She, <laughs> yeah. What she lacks in basic historical <laughs> accuracy, she makes up a charm. Well, uh, she's very smart. It's so just smart. who who would learn about that? Right, when you're stuck in a diner 24-7. Just and this way north of Oklahoma. This way north of Oklahoma. And, and uh, over there, they add Y on everything. They do. This, <laughs> and we hear that Oklahoma. in this song where she's adding Y to lots of stuff. <laughs> Um, uh, in this, uh, in this beautiful song, this fun, uh, upbeat, fast song where she's jumping from table to table. Talking uh, to customers. Talking, uh, um, be back in a sec. Yeah. Refill this coffee, please. Oh, here I got you some sugar, so why don't you give me some more right here? I was I got them prepped, and why don't I give you a knuckle sandwich? I'm sorry, but this steak is a little too overcooked. Well, how about you take a look at the books, cause them books are cooked. Still, this business is crazy. I'm in over my head. Hey, Donnie, can I talk to you for a second? I'll be back in a sec. Oh, okay, I'll see you I in a sec. I said I'll be back. Be back in a sec. Hey, <laughs> where, where are those lemons? Um, we ordered those 20 minutes ago. The lemons are up your back. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. This is so rude. I'm taking my you. business out. <laughs> hey, hey, Donna, let's have that talk now. I think it's time we talk I'll about it. Oh, all right, take your time. <laughs> Uh, check, please. Be We're back ready. In a sec. Sorry, our check's been ready for. You for better th- leave me a tip. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Donnie, all the customers are leaving. You we have You better a- let me leave whenever I want it. I'm taking a cheese. Donnie, put the gun away. <laughs> put the gun away, Donnie, please. I said I'll be back in a sec. Donnie, I'm I'm gonna- gonna- <laughs> You just shot that person who wanted mac and cheese. Oh, you, you want some mac and cheese? Well, I'll have to convince you to leave. I'll handle this. Hey, Donnie, it's me, Patty. Not the burger. You know the one. Well, I you? think you are a burger, because I'll put you in the burner, and I'll watch you die tonight. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I- bang, bang. Oh, oh, dodge, dodge. <laughs> yes, yeah, sweetheart, you look very stressed. Why don't I take after your shit? I said it'll be back in a sec. That's right. She's going to be back in a sec. <laughs> the psychiatric ward will be here in a second. Yeah, she's right over there. Oh, oh poor Donnie God. represents the psychiatric breakdown of the stress <laughs> of working oh six God. tables at a time. <laughs> And luckily, <laughs> that full-grown man who was suffering from little kid Benjamin Button syndrome <laughs> made a full recovery, got shot in the shoulder. I just uh, want to say, in the original production, she's trying to shoot up. Yeah. She didn't want to hurt anybody. I she know. was just trying she's to She's so kill nice, but she wasn't in her right mind. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she worked so oh. hard. She hadn't slept in weeks. <laughs> slept in weeks. The oh, coffee pot had gotten thing. so crusted over that it would only hold like three ounces at a time. Yeah. yeah. Man. It's so hard to believe that's only our first song of this <laughs> musical. Oh my gosh. It's just a classic example of you're like, oh, this is going to be your classic, just <laughs> waiting song. Like, yeah. oh, she's going to get Call the coffee. She's going to get the omelet. She's going to say, you know, like, oh, cute little Almost interchange. Immediately <laughs> snaps <laughs> and gets violent. But again, this is why you tip. This is why you tip your waiters and why you're gracious and yeah. thankful for them. They are under so much stress. Yeah, you if never you don't, know. They might snap. They, they are. They could snap at any moment. They are one check, please, away from <laughs> opening fire inside of a diner. 
Oh my god, oh that's my crazy. Gosh. And so what a crazy musical. With Donnie out of the picture, <laughs> the playwright has no choice but to go back to Patty and her schemes to take over I the diner. I think that song even got away from the playwright a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And during the live performance, he came out and said, I'm sorry, but we had to fill 90 minutes, and that's all I had. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, bad song, bad song. Not a bad song, um, an important song. Yeah. A wild song. Bad situation. Bad situation. Great song, bad situation. I mean, we did establish that... (laughs) They work 24 hours snow stop every day. <laughs> yeah. So in a way, it's kind of justified. It was bound to happen. <laughs> yeah. It was bound to happen. And he said that after that. He said, that was actually a really important song audience. <laughs> it's actually really important for you to see yeah. that because I did establish previously <laughs> they're working 24 hours. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't apologizing for writing it. He was apologizing for the experience of listening to you. Yeah, yes. Yes. correct. Yes. So in this next song... Um, the scheming happens. Patty schemes. She goes through all of the different items that she no longer wishes to be in the diner. Well, that was the first song. Okay. We skimmed over that. <laughs> okay. So in this song, Patty is, um, she meets with a little, a little lover of hers. A little lover. And, um, and she reads that he he left her a long note on the receipt um, of the, you know, one of those really long ones. Cause like he or- CVS receipts. Yeah, and yeah. he ordered a bunch of different items so that he could write a, a whole note about how he... He's leaving her and he's moving out west. He's got to go to the gold, the gold mines. The gold mines. And she's like, "This is crazy. That's it's 2012." Yeah, this is not the 1800s, is, my boy. <laughs> there is nothing left in the gold mines <laughs> in California. But she was speaking to her receipt. He was already gone. He was already gone. Yeah. And so this is like a classic spoken in third person. Yes. Song. Patty speaking in third yeah, person. Yeah, well, she hears the voice of. What was his name? Patrick. 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 Oh, that was so cute. In so her Patty head, reading the letter in her mind, in his voice. Yeah, and he's basically telling the story of what he thinks her life will be. Um, and so she hears her voice of what she thinks her life will be and his voice. Yeah, she has an argument with him in yeah. her head. Right. Yeah, she's she's planning what she would have said to him, but also giving room for him to give his whole speech <laughs> about leaving for the gold rush and also telling her what he thinks she will become in the future. Well, a lot of that isn't said or sung. A lot of no. subtext. Yeah, a lot of subtext yeah. that happens in the script in the before script that. Before, but directly in but the song. But what's what really in the, song, in the song and what we will what hear. What hearing now is. Is. The letter that he wrote her on the receipt. Yes. Which is why he's leaving her for the gold rush. <laughs> and then her responding to it. <laughs> yeah. And in also. Her mind. Who he thinks she will become in the future. No, that was That was subtext. Nice. <laughs> that was subtext. So we're just going to hear a letter of a guy breaking up with a waitress because he wants to go to California <laughs> for the gold rush. Um, yeah, but it's less about the gold rush and it's more about their relationship their and relationship. why he's leaving he her. He barely sprinkles in the gold rush, <laughs> yeah. but it's mostly about why he's leaving yeah. her. If, if the gold rush is mentioned, it's for wordplay purposes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In this song, um, I gotta go find my gold. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, our love will never grow old, but I gotta find my way to pan and gold. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to flake But I gotta go in the river panning for gold flakes Oh, Patty, I'm sure if you could see me You would tell me just to suck it But I've gotta head out west and dig in the mines I gotta find my golden nugget Because I never want to quiet you I never 
want you to say hush But I'm still drawn to the wild west And I'm drawn to the gold rush I gotta get my gold I gotta get my gold My story out of west and needs to be told Oh, I gotta gold now I know there's lots of loose strings that I left that are still untied like when I said I was single and unmarried girl I'm sorry but I lied we fell in love leaving notes back and forth as I scribbled on the tip line but now's a good time, a patty to tell you The entire time I was lying I don't like my eggs done over easy I just like to make them scrambled Because when they scrambled that away They look just like gold Oh, that reminds me <laughs> of headed out west Oh, I'm a prospector now Searching for gold I'm gonna find the gold in their hills I don't mean to be rude I don't mean to be a jerk I certainly don't mean to be shrill I wonder what you'd say If I had stayed What words you would speak to me <laughs> I can only Imagine your sweet dulcet voice Saying as I'm about to leave If you crush a coal hard enough It turns into gold But every fool knows That if you crush a coal hard enough It's not gold, it just falls apart in your soul if it ain't meant to be it ain't meant to be i spend every hour minute second drinking coffee a 24 hour diner you dine and you dash i guess you had to leave me for some easy earned cash so go on and dig and dig and dig but you'll never find a better reason to live in this piece of gold you left a heart of gold and no matter how you say no matter how you talk you'll never She's heartbroken, <laughs> but vindicated a little bit because yeah. you know she's right. She's right, and we learned that Patrick, uh, as he <laughs> kind of back in the song, was married <laughs> to you guessed it, Donnie. The, <laughs> he later turns into the prospector from Toy Story too. That's what he's based off of. He, well, he turns into that. Was he what turns I said. into a physical <laughs> toy. Anything could happen in this musical. <laughs> And that's his curse. That's his curse. For leaving true love. Yeah, he does. For making Donnie go insane. But poor Patty, heartbroken, left, <laughs> dejected, her best worker in an insane asylum. This diner is falling to pieces. So what do all restaurants do when times get tough? Sell out. Sell out, start a franchise, Start baby. a franchise, Fran open up a McDonald's. Open up. <laughs> but not this time. Not this one. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do one of the other things you guys said, which of course is sell out. 
Sell out. And she sells out hard. She sells out, which in this universe means she does something she doesn't want to do for money. Which is <laughs> the typical definition. <laughs> I know. But also, in this universe, if you sell out enough times, you get turned into a toy. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't do that. No. And no. she <laughs> takes a job as a pizza delivery boy to make extra cash. Right. And spoiler right, alert. Right, she right, right. She loves it. Loves it. She loves it. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. She doesn't love it enough. She does love it enough. Well, gets right. fired. <laughs> she gets fired. <laughs> she comes back dejected to the diner and she says, you know what? I'm gonna eat one last meal here because I love this place. This is my last meal. This she is says. my last meal. And then lo and behold, she finds out. That someone left her a million dollar tip. tip. <laughs> and she says, you know what? With this, I'm going to give myself con- permission to take five minute breaks once a day because I think I've earned it. Ironically, the person who left the tip, Jeff Bezos. Which really confuses the message of the <laughs> musical by the end of it. You're like, wait, is he saying that <laughs> it's okay to overwork your employees? And the playwright steps out at this part of the play. And he <laughs> says, I understand this part might be confusing, right. which is why we said it was ironic. Right. I'm trying to be ironic, he right. said. Yeah. And so in this um, in this song, she, she just... Um, walks through all of the tips that she's gotten over the years and why and why she got those tips and then um not only that yeah but every single customer that ever gave her a tip yeah walks in one by one yeah to thank her and give her another (laughs) tip right (laughs) okay and this song um tip included Tip included. Or? A hundred percent tip. <laughs> All tip. All tip, baby. No tip. <laughs> tip included. A young waitress working two jobs. Husband just sleeping on the couch. Coming home to drool in his mouth How sad, how sad (laughs) But she got up by her bootstraps Said I'm not gonna let life slap my (laughs) Synonym for bud Pray to God That's when I got a visit From a man named Bob And he left a hundred dollar tip A hundred dollar tip Said, hey, I liked the way you were smiling So a hundred dollar tip And he put it in my back pocket And I said that's inappropriate But for a hundred dollar tip yogurt and butter and I said maybe my 20 babies and I can have a future hey miss I just want to say thanks (laughs) for the fruit cup here's a five thanks junior hey that cup of coffee was actually pretty good here's 250 Working hard nights, working hard days It'd been years since I'd had a good night's sleep This is my favorite place I come here every breakfast And not only is the food warm, but so are you Found a man with a golden retriever energy Grabbed his hand, said, do you mind 
And if I do some fortune telling Told his fortune said he would die when he was 17 He said a thousand dollar tip, thousand dollar tip Thousand dollar tip, thousand dollar tip He said one more year to live, one more year to live After all of that fortune telling I took that hundred thousand dollars about what he gave me <laughs> I took that hundred thousand dollars and I bought myself a brand new baby <laughs> I found a woman she owned a business a shady business she was a loan shark she said honey now where can I park my 2018 my Can I talk to you in the back for a second? Million dollar tip, million dollar tip. She was a You know you gotta share that with the rest business. of the <laughs> Million dollar tip, million dollar tip. Hi, yeah, we're having All another Donnie situation. A million yeah, bring the coat. Put the gun away, Patty. <laughs> Patty, please. This diner's been through enough. Please. Hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Took that a guy's wallet, found a trillion dollars in it. Close the doors. Best surround the surround the restaurant. ID. She has hostages. I'm gonna take this man's identity. How much do you want? Thousand million dollars. Thousand million dollar tip. Thousand million dollar. Thousand million dollar tip. <laughs> All right, we're bringing in the money. Just let the people go. I found the FBI agent. His name was John Doe. I said, sorry, mister, but I'm gonna have to sell your kidneys, though. I counted that as a tip. I said, I'm sorry, this is gonna hurt. Just a slight pinch, just a slight pinch. I said, I'm doing this for the black market. Quadrillion dollar tip, quadrillion dollar tip. This man had valuable kidneys. Yeah, she's been crazy for a while now. <laughs> if I um, put her in the cell next to Donnie, that'd be great. Out, it was Donny Osmond. It really was Donny Osmond. I don't know what it is, but all of our <laughs> workers eventually go insane. Maybe it's because we make them work 24 hours nonstop. I thought Donny was an outlier, but she was just a symptom of a greater disease. But maybe, maybe in there, Patty will find her. Hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip, maybe even million dollar tip, million dollar tip, maybe even trillion dollar tip, trillion dollar tip, maybe even quadrillion dollar. That's a good story, Patty. Now go to sleep. Again, another case study of the f the fragile psyche of the <laughs> the service worker that we take advantage that we take for granted. Even if you tip, if they're working too hard, they might go crazy. They might break. They didn't. They don't deserve what we do to them. They don't. They don't deserve they it. They truly deserve a thousand million dollar tip. <laughs> uh, um, great song though, right, and and right situation. But what's a bad situation right now is, ugh, gosh, darn it, gotta close. It's closing time. Gotta clean the burners, mop the floors, and turn off all our podcasting equipment. Until next week, where we're running a special, Two for One Laughs, here at Musical Monday, <laughs> where we hope you'll order the special with a side of ha-ha and a hot cup of joy. Can we hope ha 
with some ketchup. <laughs> and some mustardy har har. And your fries. <laughs> And we, leave, we hope you leave us a tip. And when we say a tip, I don't know, a comment, a review, help us grow a little bit, won't you? Some money. Or money. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. We're on Venmo at Improv Broadway. But most importantly, we hope you tip yourself by listening to us every weekend. And here's a tip. And weekday on Monday, I mean. And here's a tip. Tip your waitresses. Tip your waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> Music Monday. Single penny tip, single penny tip. Half a nickel tip, half a nickel tip. Hey penny tip, hey penny tip. A single pence tip. 